Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of You've Got Issues. I'm your host Idia Aysian and this is the show where you tell us your problems and with the help of my lovely guests we give you tips and advice. Remember, we're not experts but a problem shared is a problem halved. Today we're going to be talking about all things relationships and I have with me relationship coach Lakwe Shoetan. Welcome to the show. Hi Idia, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And I also have lifestyle YouTuber on beauty and relationships, Riza Hadiza. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. You guys look so beautiful. And I love seeing women who are like so smart and, you know, very, very knowledgeable, especially about issues like this that a lot of people have. So are you guys ready to help me solve some yes. problems? Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's hear our first question from the board. Recently, I found out that my husband has been cheating on me before we got married. I love him so much and I cannot stand the thought of not being with him. Please, how best can you deal with infidelity in a marriage that is only a year old? Okay, so we all know that infidelity is a huge issue in relationships and marriages and it's so tough to actually yeah. handle. So this is a yeah. difficult question for me. So Lakbe, what do you have to say to this person? Um, first of all, I need her to know that she's not alone. Like you said, it really affects many, many people in Nigeria and outside Nigeria and it's just that um, a lot of people don't share their problems so she has to know that she's not alone. The next thing is that she actually has to decide what she wants. Many people when they're trying to deal with problems in a relationship or a marriage they try to control the other person or get the other person to do something but actually your first step is to decide what it is that you do want. Okay so the husband is cheating. What do you want? Do you want to stay? Do you want to leave? Do you want to have a happy marriage where both parties are faithful? So you need to think about that and answer that question first of all. So once you've decided that, let's say that what it is is that you want to stay, but you want to have a happy faithful, yeah, yeah. You want your marriage to be yeah. one in which both of you are faithful and loyal to each other. So you then you need to speak to him. You need to communicate and say, this is how this makes me feel. What can we do about it? Whenever you are speaking to somebody else um, and they've done something that you don't like, you need to speak in a way that is not accusatory. So it's, it's best, yes. Yeah, so it's best to start with the word I. So you say, I feel X, like I feel sad, I feel neglected because this has happened. How can we make this better? It's, it is very difficult because the natural instinct to say, you are a bastard, how can you do this? <laughs> That's the natural yeah. instinct. But you have to fight, even if you have to count to 20. Do that and then I'll take it from there. Okay, I have a follow-up question, but first okay. I want to hear what you have to say, Raisa. Uh, so no, I do agree with what you're saying, but I do also believe, um, yeah, ask him what is it, what is it that's actually making you to cheat? What makes you, you know, we're only a year into this marriage, and obviously we've got a lifetime to go. Um, so what's making you feel like you have to go outside, go outside of the relationship? And he probably has a situation or a reason for doing it. And um, if you guys can communicate, like you said, mm -hmm. then from there I'm sure you can come up with some sort of solution. But yeah, it's okay. too early. But it's very, <laughs> very popular for a lot of people even married people yeah. to tell you that you should look the other way if you want the relationship to work you should act like you didn't see those things mm. you shouldn't question the person would you say she should mention it to him mm. she should communicate or she should be quiet because i know a lot of women have this question she should mm. definitely communicate i don't understand communication always helps everything even though it's uncomfortable because the truth is that if you don't talk about something first of all the other person may not even know it's a problem yeah secondly it's not like it's going to get solved if you don't talk about it and also, I mean, she's, I mean, they say look the other way, but then she's unhappy, she's sad, she can't yeah. sleep, she can't eat. So she's going to be the only one that's yeah. actually suffering. Yeah. So yeah. I believe, no, you need to voice it out. You need yeah. to speak on it and you never know. And you're right. Yeah. That just goes back to saying, yeah. what do you want yeah. for exactly. yourself? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Guys, so, um, of course, this was a very tough question and um, it's not something that anybody has the 100% answer too because yeah. I think that you know different things always work for different people yeah. but as Lakwe and Riza have said to you the most important thing is to communicate how you feel to your partner and also think about what you want out of the situation let's hear our second question from the board my husband beats me at the slightest altercation because he feels he has the right to he takes all my hard-earned money and beats me up I have nothing to my name help me what can I do I don't really know, I'm a bit confused, but I want to know what you guys think, starting with you, Riza. I mean, 
when someone when you're getting abused in a relationship I mean for me that's definitely the number one reason to leave I don't believe it's something you should accept yeah. um, you know you, you've gone all your childhood without being hit by your parents and stuff you now come into a marriage and then you're getting you know hit and everything um, and then on top of it he's taking all your money so what's left for you you know everything you've been stripped off stripped off of everything so I'm um, for me I believe you should leave now because it can only get worse okay the straightforward answer is that if someone is beating you or is abusing you in another way even if it's verbal abuse you really do need to leave yeah however because of the situation this woman is in she needs to get money she needs to sort of i mean it's easy to say leave 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 and then she's just gonna stay in a friend's house or something like that but i don't believe in um spontaneous action, action like that money. you need to think about it first for example you need money so right now he's taking all of your money find a way to Please. save some yes. of your money to get you know, back to your money get, to, to get back, back to get back you know back. is it that you're going to find a side hustle that he doesn't know about and start saving some of the money is it that yeah. somehow you just find a way to save money and then when you do decide to leave Please don't tell him that I'm going to leave you. Yeah, just you guys. I'm going. To, I'm tired of you. I'm going to leave. Please don't do that. Yeah, you know, take your time, save your money, and then leave. After that, if there's supposed to be any discussion, let the discussion start when you are outside. And when he's seeking help. Yes. Because I don't think that anybody that hates another person is sane. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. when the person is obviously yeah. at a disadvantage exactly. and it's a woman that you're hit, exactly. you're hitting. I don't even respect that. But I think that there's three, three um, sides to this, right? From what Riza has said, I completely agree. I think being hit by a man or whether it's a woman hitting a man, abuse, violence of any sort in a relationship is a complete no-no. Yeah. So the first thing we've established is that you need to get out. Forget, this is not the time to think about love or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Love can only come into this situation if he has gotten the help yeah. that he needs. And he has right? truly changed yeah, and for he, himself. And he shows you mm -hmm. that he has truly changed. The second thing now, is that as Lakwe has said, you know, you need to be financially secure because yeah. clearly she doesn't have anything. Yeah. The most important thing in becoming financially secure is mm -hmm. understanding that you don't have enough time. Yeah. Avoid being beaten in that <laughs> time because she could be killed mm -hmm. before yes. she even gets enough yes. money to get out of the situation. Yeah. With relationships, everything is supposed to be better. Yeah. So if one person yeah. does something, when it's two people, you're supposed to be richer, yeah. you're supposed to be happier, True. you're supposed to be more secure. Yeah. Like that is what I understand a relationship yeah. to be. So if you're not anything are, that you should be yeah. you shouldn't be in that relationship and that's that's just how i feel anyways guys we have to take a quick break but don't forget that you guys can send in your questions to ygi at myspice.tv and you can also leave your comments by hashtagging ygi on facebook instagram and twitter we'll be back with more on relationships on you've got issues so don't go anywhere Hello guys and welcome back to You've Got Issues. I'm still here with Riza and Lakwe and we're still talking about everything relationships. So let's hear our third question from the board. My sister and I went out for lunch with her friends. My boyfriend called me asking if he could come to see me there and I said no as it was a girl's outing. Rather than staying where he was, he called his friend to call my sister to ask where she was. A few minutes later, my boyfriend showed up accusing me of being sly and dodgy. Please advise me on what to do as I see it as a very scary obsessive behavior. Okay, so what do you think she should do? I, I mean, I don't want to say what I think, but um, I want to know what you would tell her to do. Okay, so for example, I mean, it's a, it's a young relationship. They're still just boyfriend and girlfriend. And if there's so much trust issues in the beginning, um, it's for me I believe it's only gonna get worse and um, for me I believe if he's not gonna back down or learn to trust you you need to be able to say okay I'm not sure if I want to be in this type of relationship because it can then turn aggressive or it can then turn a bit too stalkerish and uncomfortable so um, for me it's not the type of relationship I would want to be in okay I think the key to the solution here is actually in the question because she says that this the behavior is scary and obsessive mm -hmm. if it is scary now it's going to be scarier later if it's scary then it's not the situation you want to be in actually it goes back to what i said earlier the first step is to ask yourself what do i want yeah okay so she should describe to herself what is my ideal relationship mm -hmm. my, in my ideal relationship i feel happy i feel loved i feel trusted you know things like that is there scary 
stalker, <laughs> obsessed guy yeah, right, in, what, in that description. Things. No. Yeah. So he's behaving like that. Please don't believe that he's going to get better later. Don't believe that he's going to get better after you get married. The issue that I'm having Please. is that I don't really see what he's done first because his friend called her sister. Mm -hmm. What did the sister say to the friend that would make him now say you're sly and dodgy? So did the sister say they were somewhere else? You know, I mean, I don't even it's think one so side. really. No, but then the second thing is No, then the second thing is that, yeah, it's a girl's night, but if he's like, oh, can I stop by? Because again, let's say, let's just say he does have trust issues. Mm -hmm. Babe, you can pop by, mm -hmm. but just know that it's a girl's night and I want to hang out with my friend and my sister. Yeah, I mean, in a relationship, I always believe that you always still need to be yourself and you of still course. need to always have yeah. your own your time, own space. Yeah, of your own space. So this probably is the situation where she's taking time out to just be with her sister and to have her own time. And she doesn't necessarily want him to be in that situation no, and, and that's that fine. space. And that's so it's absolutely like, fine. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that when a guy doesn't trust you or yeah. when you don't trust a guy i think that in the beginning stages of a relationship that is how trust is built yeah right you don't just say oh riza is off doing whatever she's doing yeah. or i trust you when yeah. the beginning phase so you know we don't ask all these questions because at the end of the day it's when the person constantly refuses to show you to help you trust them yeah you know what i mean in yeah. the beginning i feel like there are steps that are taken in yeah. the beginning where you get to trust each other to yeah, get exactly. to that level. But so let me show you. If you're always <laughs> dodgy and every time you go <laughs> out, you're like, to it's girls' <laughs> night, blah, 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 yeah. blah, then yeah, let me, let me you don't know what you. has happened before to yeah. make her yeah. think that this guy is stalking yeah. her. And you don't know what had happened with that phone call mm -hmm. that made this guy say yeah. you're dodgy. Yeah. Because if your sister really said, oh, we're just hanging out, we're having drinks, mm -hmm. where are you at? Are you at a male strip club? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Are you guys mm -hmm. hanging out in a man's yeah. house? Why would he say you are dodgy and sly? If you trust each other, there's no need for I, I want to come and why do you want to come and see what even if they're in a male strip club, what do you think she's doing there? Do you understand? Yeah, you know, and then, even if something has happened before, you know, it gets to the point where when you guys have you just um, have to trust, yeah, exactly. Right. You know, you you've probably gone through a discussion where okay, fine, you've you've chosen to forgive me to forgive me. So now it's like you have to build that trust up again. And how yeah. are you going to do that? Yeah. You need to trust when I say I'm at a certain place and I'm with my sister. And I mean, I know it's, it's going to be hard if that trust has been broken because it's like a yeah, mirror. Yeah. Once it's broken, you can fix it, but yeah. there's always going to be those cracks, cracks yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, it's just a matter of you've chosen to then, um, you've what chosen the person to, is you've chosen lying. to be with that person. Is that the person so you want to be in a relationship? relationship? Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. she doesn't want. Maybe that's his issue. And that thing that comes up is, Maybe okay, he fine. wants to be in a relationship yeah. with her, so he's trying to trust her. And that thing that comes up, but he's, he's going <laughs> about the person that sends him. But he's question. he's going about it the wrong way. Maybe he's he is, and maybe we need to advise him as well. Another yeah. thing that comes up is that yeah. okay, they are living in the same area. Okay, what happens if she travels for three months? Is it going to be popping in <laughs> every, every Friday night? <laughs> to me, it's not a big deal to let him stop by, but be like, you know, I need my time yeah. with my friends, babe. If you're on your way out or whatever, okay, come stop by, say hi. But at the end of the day, I do believe in not always just supporting the person, the girl, whoever <laughs> sent in the question, but yeah. in understanding that guys too do have their insecurities yeah. you know so anyways guys let's take our fourth question let's hear it from the board i want to know if i'm wrong i have been dating my boyfriend for nine months we hardly see because he's always busy of recent he tells me he is sexually frustrated and wants to make time out so we could make out i got angry because i felt he was only making time out to satisfy his sexual needs and not because he wanted to see me am i wrong for my actions Wow, okay, yeah. so <laughs> this question actually reminds me of a, a tweet I just saw, I think this morning or whatever, yeah. um, about how if a guy only wants to hang out at a certain mm. time of day, what do you call then obviously <laughs> he's not a serious guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you guys have to say about this? Once again, I think the, we should start from the question. She's asking, am I wrong? So it makes me feel like she feels that she hasn't actually done anything wrong this is one of those questions where you i wish i could see the person and say okay why do you feel this what do you think yeah, yeah, and you course. know she could go back and forth because it's um i get the sense that she doesn't think she did anything wrong and if she doesn't think she did anything wrong then she needs to find out how she feels about the matter entirely because I restrain from just telling people what to do because you've noticed that when you tell yeah, people no, what no, to course, do, course, course, course. they don't do it. Okay? Another way she can answer this question is if it was her best friend that told her this story, what would she tell her best friend to do? Yeah. From the question, the guy clearly just sees her because he wants sex. Yeah. In nine months, he doesn't 
come over to see her just so that they can hang out. Clearly, he's just with her for what he can get. Is she happy with that situation? She doesn't sound like she's happy with that situation. If she's not happy, she has two choices. She can stay and or she can happy. leave. Yeah. So the ball is in her court. <laughs> you know, we women we're more um you know we're more we, we're more physical. We want we want to be shown that we're loved for, we're cared. Yeah. Um we, we wanna know that you you want us for who we are before we then open up maybe something, you know, we open up our you know, yeah, of course. and give you sex. But um with guys they're more of a um Let's then, have sex and Yeah, let's just have, you know, sex to them <laughs> is just sex. So I feel like he needs to be able to show her that he actually does care for her. He probably yeah. does, but he might not know how to show it or he might be showing it in different ways that she doesn't really know he's doing it. Um, so I don't think, I mean, she's not wrong for the way she feels, of course but I, um, she definitely needs to maybe, she needs to communicate with him that, look, I'm not feeling loved and appreciated. I just feel like I'm being used and see what, he, I mean, if he truly cares about her and truly likes her and he'll loves try. her, he'll try and make that effort even if it's difficult for him so um, yeah that's how I feel about it so I honestly think that nine months is a long time you know where you get to see who somebody really is now I don't think I think one thing that I have to clarify to women out there is that you're not mad mm -hmm. right if in nine months you feel like somebody just wants your body it's because even if you're not seeing him he's probably not calling you as much mm -hmm. You know, I have um, an older mentor, a woman that I look up to, and her husband, yeah, he travels a lot, but he calls her consistently. He calls her all the time. Now, women, like you have said, like to feel loved. So if you, there's something that he's not doing, he's not doing a lot of things for her to feel this way, yeah. right? So for me, I just think that if he's actually telling you, I'm sexually frustrated, yeah. then you to tell him me, I'm, I'm love star. I'm loving yeah. it. I need, you know, I need yes. you to put yeah. more effort into ETC. Okay. Yeah. Because yes, communication is key. But at the end of the day, the way he has needs is the same way you have needs. Exactly. The way guys feel used, like, oh, she just wants to spend my money. She just wants to, it's the exactly. way we feel used. Like, you just want to sleep with me. You just want to knock. Okay. You just want to, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, I, I honestly, I have to tell you that you're not wrong. You're not mad. You're not going crazy. Like, the signs are clearly there. Yeah. So, like Lakwe has said so many times today, you have to figure out what you want. Yeah. And if this guy, if you have a conversation with him and he's not seeming serious yeah. and he's not seeming like he can give those things mm -hmm. to you, then my dear, it is okay yeah. to walk away. Please don't be afraid to walk away. Yeah. You will be okay, my dear. <laughs> Trust me. You meet the next person and you will thank me. <laughs> Guys, we have to take a quick break, but don't forget that you can send your questions to YGI at myspice.tv and you can hashtag YGI on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You've got issues. We'll be back with more on relationships, so you better stay tuned. Hello guys and welcome back to You've Got Issues. I'm still here with Lakwe and Riza and we're still talking about relationships. We've had a lot of interesting questions for the day and we're sorry we don't have that much time so we're going to take our last question. Let's hear it from the board. Many of my female friends believe that you have to objectify yourself to find true love. Would a man really fall in love with the woman that objectifies herself? What do you guys think? I Start mean, you, yeah. Guys, they you know they can be very lustful. You know, you see a woman and she's sexy and everything. Um, when a guy looks at a woman, I believe, and he first sees sex, I believe he's more most likely not going to say, "Okay, this is my wife," yeah. just because if he knows when he sees her, that's what he sees. He knows he's friends. He knows he's you know he's friends and he's peers. When they see this woman, it's the same thing they think. And no man wants a woman that when his friends or whoever are meeting them, they're, 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 too, they're, the they're lusting thing. over the, this yeah. woman. So men tend to go for like the more homely looking, more um, sophisticated looking woman. I'm not saying you should not be sexy, but there's a difference between being sexy and objectifying yourself and, you know, maybe wearing the extra short skirt and the plungy, you know, top and stuff. So, I mean, I think, no, whoever's telling you and giving you that advice, no, they're not your friends. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have a slightly different opinion about that. Yeah. Okay, so when someone is objectifying women, it's usually about women, what they're saying is that they don't want a woman who has thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. They want someone who is just pretty blank. Okay. So the question says... Because there are those two don't, kind of men, yeah. right? There's mm -hmm. the one that just wants a homely woman mm -hmm. that nobody's yeah. looking at. Yeah. And there's the ones that want Barbie. Yeah. So, you know, but Barbie should shut up. Uh -huh. yeah. But the question that says, is it true that 
men fall in love with those kinds of women, women who objectify themselves? And the answer is yes. Some men fall in love with those kind of women, mm -hmm. but some men don't. Mm -hmm. There's so many different kinds of men in this world. We have yeah. to realize that and stop stereotyping. Do you understand? Yeah. So once again, the question is, ask yourself, what do you want? Do you want a man who loves your sense of humor? Do you want the man who loves the way you cook? Do you want the man who loves the way you look after him? What do you want? If that is the kind of man that you want, then you have to do things that go to attract that kind of man into your life. Yeah. If you want a man that is just going to be like, my God, see that girl's bomb. Yeah, you understand? Be a trophy. Then that is who you're going to attract. Yeah. There are different kinds of men. Some men love those women, but you don't like that kind of man. So fine, don't worry yourself. Just be yourself, and the kind of man that you want is going to come into your life. Yeah. You that's what I think. The, 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 way you, you, the way you show yourself yes, is the kind of man the, you're going to exactly, attract. Exactly. That's, that's, that's what it yeah, is. It's very true. Well, I think what she said is very important. You know, be yourself. Um, at the end of the day, I think that, first of all, there are different kinds of men, yeah. but I do think that a lot of men are very confused about what they want. Yeah. I think there are so many confused men. No, let me I get to my point. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, because let me tell you. Do you know why? Because I've actually met a guy before that was like, you know, I just like girls that are this, that. I don't like... I, I hate talking about complexion and all these really, really petty, stupid things. But he's like, I don't like girls that are overly done up, that don't look natural, whatever, whatever. We get into the party that we're going for, and the whole time he's staring at this girl with the blonde hair, the lashes, the big blue. But I'm like, you just said one yeah. thing. And yes, you want to tell me that, oh no, she's for the short term, you're for the long term. But I'm sorry, that is being confused. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like women. A lot of women will say, no, I want a good guy, mm -hmm. I want a faithful guy. And then you go yeah. with the guy with yeah. the G-Wags yeah. and whatever. And you know, he's treating you anyhow because he has 10 of you. Yeah. They, I mean, some guys are then go into a relationship thinking that it's that Barbie doll that they wanted, etc. And then they end up cheating because why? They're not stimulated at home, there's no good conversation, they can't come home and the talk about... The girl can't cook. Yeah, or the girl can't cook or she just... You know, she's not giving him what he then actually realizes that he needs. You We're know, cooking one <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what I'm going to say about that. I understand totally what you said, and I have many examples of that of a guy saying course, one thing and then, and then having. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but I've met several guys mm -hmm. who are married and say, "Let me tell you, women of today, men are not confused. They know what they want." The fact that he's dating or sleeping with a particular person does not mean that he doesn't. He knows what he wants, and when he sees you, usually he knows what he wants to do with you. That's yeah, true. That's you know, so better, something drastic so don't happens. Yeah. Don't give, you know, yeah. don't give the guy that excuse of oh my god, he's confused. He can't choose between two. He can choose very well. He has mm -hmm. just been eating the two because he's allowed to. Mm. That's true. Don't be, don't fall into that trap. Men okay. know what they want. So men and women know what they want. <laughs> <laughs> men and women know what they want. I'm still figuring out what I want. Yes. <laughs> I know, what I want. Yes. Okay, yeah. um, but no, That's seriously, fine. I think um, be a lady in the streets, yeah. be a freak behind yeah. doors. Ooh. I don't personally think that even if you are a freaky, nice, you know, adventurous girl, I don't think that you have to carry it everywhere you go. I yeah. mean, come exactly. on, like, even if you're hot yeah. and, you know, your asset is what you want to sell, do you really want to be walking around every day mm. and... It's just those things that people yeah. see. But I mean, I guess it's about, different it's about finding that balance. I guess. Yeah, it's about exactly, finding balance. exactly. Women are different. People are different. Yeah. Some people are looking for different yeah. kinds of attention. Yes. Yes. But I think if you're looking for somebody that you know you want to keep long term and you want to keep him engaged long term, exactly. then I would say you know be be everything that he exactly. wants. Exactly. You should be everything that your man wants. Like yeah. you should be able to throw it down in the kitchen, yeah. Yeah. in the bedroom, <laughs> in the living room. It should be fun. You should be yeah. the best friend that he can lean on, ETC. Well, guys, I hope that we've been able to help you with some of your issues today. Thank you, Riza, and thank you, Lakwe, yeah. for being here thank today. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so fun. much. And to Bo Concept for this amazing location, and you guys back home for watching, you've got issues. We'll be here same time and same place next week, so you better tune